Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to do a Windows 11 upgrade and bypass the hardware requirements check. So normally if you were to try and install Windows 11 or do an upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on a computer that's not compatible, you'll get the uh, doesn't meet the system requirement message. So I'll show you real quick how that is. So I have my Windows 11 DVD mounted on this Windows 10 computer, so I'm just going to run the setup real quick. All right, and I'll skip the updates right now for the sake of time. So now it's checking the PC. Okay, doesn't meet the uh, requirements for Windows 11. Lots of the time it'll tell you why like doesn't have a TPM or the uh, two processors or hard drive's not big enough. In this case, it didn't tell me for some reason. So I'm gonna close this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this tool here. It's called Windows 11 Upgrade. You can get it on GitHub. Uh, it's a free download. Um, it'll come in a zip file. You just need to extract it to run it. Now, before running this, you should probably download the Windows 11 ISO file if you don't have it. Uh, we have a video on how you could go about doing that from the media creation tool, or I actually think you could just download the ISO on its own right now. There is an option to download the ISO file when you run this program, but I always like to just to get it first just to have it handy. So... Um, when you run this file here, the first time you do it, you might get prompted by Windows saying it's an unrecognized file and you want to continue. So, of course, just like with anything you find on the Internet, it's up to you if you want to use it or not, but it seems to be okay since it's from GitHub. So we have our two options, select Windows ISO file or download Windows 11 ISO file. So we're going to select it since we have it already. So that's the one I have on the desktop here. Now we have the options to upgrade um, while saving apps and data or data only, saving data or not the apps or do a clean install. So that since this video is on upgrading, we're going to pick the upgrade, click on install system. So now, unfortunately, you don't have the option to not check for updates, so you're going to have to go through the update process. All right, here comes the PC check. I got right past it without saying uh, there were any problems. Now it's going to do this update again, so this one will take some time, so we'll probably pause the video and then uh, be back when it's done. All right, now it's checking to make sure you have enough space and starting the Windows installation. So it says the PC will restart several times, so obviously this is going to take some time. So we'll probably just pause as we go through the installation here. Okay, so now we have a logon screen. Let's see what we got here. So now it's going to do the initial user configuration when the first time that you log into Windows. This is the same as, as you'll see in Windows 10 when you log in for the first time. So this will take a few minutes as well. All right, so now we have our Windows 11 desktop. We have our ISO file there, the uh, Windows 11 upgrade folder there, so everything looks good. So once again, just uh, download this software. Run the uh, Windows 11 upgrade exe file. Try and get your ISO file first, and then just follow the prompts, and you'll be able to uh, upgrade to Windows 11 and bypass the uh, hardware check. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.